these. That's crazy. Drawing 320 some watts. So I just made it over to the cove. We're out on the Tippy Dam fall color tour. I think I might be a week early, but I'd rather be here when it's 80 and sunny than 50 and raining. So, we'll make the best of it. Back in the old spot from June. Made it to the Tippy Dam pond yesterday. Back to our favorite cove. It uh, it was pretty late again yesterday when I got here. Had all kinds of issues. Uh, <laughs> getting it off the trailer again by myself was uh, wasn't that bad. I ended up bumping the boat pretty hard shooting it off the trailer I don't know what it was stuck on I still haven't figured that out but and then I took off from the ramp and the motor didn't gas motor didn't sound right then I tried the electric motor and the monitor on the dash just stopped working was reading zero I don't know why um, I got out to the cove here where I'm at now it was 82 degrees you know October 2nd Michigan very nice it's only gonna last for a few days but I got to the cove and I started tearing everything apart back window blew out again what I'm gonna end up doing probably tomorrow today I'm gonna cruise around and just get the colors it's gonna be sunny tomorrow it's supposed to be cloudy but still 80 so I think I'm gonna pull these two back windows screen them right over the vinyl which will make them look like the rest of the windows and that'll keep them from blowing out. And we'll see if we create a different weak spot and blow out somewhere else. I don't know, but oh, and and last night it got cold. It I got all the storm windows in right now. It got down into the fifties, high fifties, and I put the heater on, shut it off, woke up. It was cold. Put the heater on. <laughs> Woke up. It was like 90 in here. So I shut the heater off again. That was on low. That's my Mr. Heater, Big Buddy Heater. So too bad it doesn't have a thermostat. But it definitely works. That was low. Um, so now first thing in the morning. Tuesday. Well, it's not first thing. I'm trying to get ready here, but I got to go all the way back to the boat. Well, not all the way back. It's not that far, but I got to go back to the boat launch and get the stuff I forgot to bring yesterday. And then we'll go out and uh, make some food, get some pictures and some video. If we find a nice colorful spot maybe stop and fish a little bit and maybe see how far we can get up the river if we can get up far enough we'll get into clear water but it's going to be shallow we'll see how it goes right now we have to pull anchors and head back to the launch i'll spin you around here real quick and you can take a look we'll try and get some better footage this trip. Stay tuned. One of the 
beautiful morning at the tippy damn pond. Heading back to the boat launch to get what I forgot yesterday. Get what we forgot and be out of here. Man, stupid head band, it's gotta go. It's not tight enough. Shake it around. Pills right there. So, what the hell do I keep hitting on this trailer? Coming off. Wonder if it's these. See if we can get this box down there. I wish I had a way to clean off those solar panels with me. But I don't. Just too much crap. Gotta stop bringing so much shit. Wow, look at that. Almost said waves come over the back. Easy. Get out there and get these storm windows taken out. I could take them out now, but I can take them out while I'm driving. It's not going that fast. So I might as well get out of here. Now, I think I have everything. place isn't that big where I couldn't just come back here. Alright. So that box is not going to work there. I can't see the motors. Getting hot enough out of where I got to put the cooler inside. Heater outside.
because it's 10 15 degrees cooler under the solar panels all right let's get these windows out by the way put some air in here This one. Get some air flowing. Real quick lag. This one. This one should fit in that spot. It's not there. Okay. Take this one. I never put a fourth one on that one. Alright, grab the cord. Pull the spring. And hook it on. And pick up the crackers. Alright, and then we need to hold all these curtains button them up so they're not flapping in the breeze like so let's uh, switch to solar see how that works Too windy, I don't know. Alright. Drawing 320 some watts. Oh, look at that little pontoon boat. Says we're doing two and a half. Man, that pontoon boat's got to be like 12 foot. You know, two and a half is pretty slow, but if you're not burning any gas and you're replacing the power with solar, nothing's free, but it's about as close as you can get. switch back to gas and get where we can park and take some medicine and make some food this is how it's forward reverse Still got to fix the tack. I don't know what happened to it. I think I might have yanked the wires to get under that helm. The only other thing I did was uh, pulled the motor to rebuild the transom, but that's just a plug harness. I plugged it back in, checked it plugged in right so it must be some something up here at the dash and I did shove one of these storm windows down in that corner there I might have messed it up 
hold it out of the back of the gauge or something. It's probably getting up in the 70s now. It's supposed to be in the 80s today, 85 I think. Thursday morning and I told the woman I said I I registered as a van but I'm actually bringing my homemade houseboat and I want to stay on the houseboat just back it in stay right on the water and she's the only thing she said was does your van look like a van or does your van look like a camper and I said oh, it looks like a van I said, okay, no problem. Can't, can't have two campers on one site. That's all she said. But we'll see. It looks like a really cool place. Much bigger body of water than this. Such a cool little place. It's just so windy. Windy, windy. chair in the shade. Nice! Alright. Time to do the dishes. Well, we're coming up to Government Island. Birch Island right behind you there. I'm looking at it. It's so windy. I had to put the canopy in in the back. We're gonna head up river. There's not a ton of colors. I'll show you. She didn't catch that last part because of the wind. We went, or I went. I was on the phone with my wife at the time. That's why I stopped recording. But I went beyond Navionics up the river and started getting into deadheads. And the wind is just. I don't know, 15, 20 mile an hour winds today or something like that. So, I get stuck in between all these deadheads and the steering stopped working one, in one direction. I figured out it was because I, uh, after throwing anchor, checking all the bolts, I realized it was because I trimmed up the motor the gas motor and kept the electric motor down well it twisted the linkage and uh, was catching on the transom 
So that got that lowered down and uh, lowered the motor down and <laughs> hit the electric full throttle almost to get me straight with the anchor. So I didn't even have time to tie it to the center eye. I had to tie it to the cleat on the rail for the uh, bumpers. So we were sitting a little cockeyed in the wind. Oh man, but I got it. And then of course I pull up the anchor and it's got about 50 pounds of seaweed on it. Lettuce. And we're drifting the whole time in the wind. It's like a landmine coming out of there, but we got it. And I'm not filming out there right now. I got the door closed. I just got, I'm, I keep getting pushed one way or the other. It's just 85 degrees, but windy. So stay tuned, we'll, uh, we'll find a spot and make something to eat, maybe fish, there's not a whole lot of colors, kind of bummed, but glad, you know, got the experience 85 degree weather in on October 3rd on the barrel boat with some colors. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. Check back in in a little bit. This battery's dying anyway. On the camera. Alright. Finally calmed down. Holy crap. Between the wind and the sun and way back down the river not very enjoyable. Now it's beautiful. the same family. Look at how big they are. Might be the same family. There's eight babies and, and two adults. Wow, that's a trip. Guys remember me from a few months ago? Yes. about you? You remember me? Yeah. Of course you do. Wow, it just got chilly awfully quick. Wow. Went from 80 to 60. I think I have to stop my route and save it. which I didn't do earlier. Oh. Alright, let's take a look.
told my wife, I said, oh, we're floating into some dead heads. She's like, who's we? <laughs> I'm like, me and you on the phone. In the boat. Didn't really want to float over the anchor, but we did. Kinda. Oh, it's because we're still in forward. Got to get that Telesyn hooked up. That way I can move the camera around without touching it. Beautiful night. Let's take a look around. Be cooking. There's off the front. Oops, sorry if I went too quick. Check that out. Looks like a giant blanket under all the trees. That bar stool I was using on the June trip and last year just killed my tailbone. This is a nice seat but a cheap pedestal like to get a better pedestal that steel one's got too much slop in it, it flops back and forth well, that's it absolutely beautiful oh I gotta fix the shelf the screws came loose or something I don't know it, It's Tuesday night. I got a few minutes before the sun goes down. Well, I don't know if I'll do any more recording tonight. We'll see how the lighting is. If I can get some good light in here. It depends on what I cook. The wife bought me some pretty crazy stuff. I'm trying, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to do the non refrigerated stuff and uh <laughs> it's, it's not that great obviously now the ice is holding up good now in this cooler i got a different cooler this time the yeti knockoff did not work good in june i don't know if it was because it was outside in the heat or in the sunlight most of the week but well it didn't matter it was gone in 24 hours so uh, this old Coleman or whatever the hell it is now it's still got ice in it at least now I used quite a bit more ice and I'm sure that plays a factor as well it's the, the main parts not falling apart but the panels are getting pretty tore up especially the two Luan pieces they got to be replaced the roof looks terrible and in the video with backwaters and back roads I didn't mention it but I mentioned it in my videos the, the ceiling and the three front across the front are fiberglass so they're not going nowhere but yeah I can't do anything about the panels now but the windows blowing out I just needed to bring a roll of screen and a staple gun and do that tomorrow 
you know, well, I don't know if that little five dollar Harbor Freight lantern is any good. It was on all night, but we have, uh, well, we have the Jackery. I could plug the lamp into the into the Jackery. Oh, and the TV's on too. The 12 volt is right there. It's reading 12.7. The 24 volt is only reading 25 to 25.2, which is fine, but it shouldn't be saying it's 100%. It's not. Yeah, I don't know. That's why I wanted two sets of propulsion two sets of power so that's it we'll be back soon all right it's pretty dark in here i don't know if this is going to work i got rice made i want to try this well here let me put my head down Try this. I'm here Ford. Here for ripping ready. Yeah, sorry. Meatballs made with beef and chicken with spaghetti sauce. Mm mm mm. Fully cooked, ready to heat. Just gotta heat it up. No refrigeration required. All right, hopefully you can see this, Let's see if this stuff is any good. Just got some rice, made rice. We got this stuff here. Meat the balls. Put the camera in your or light in your face. Well, for whatever this cost. Which I'm sure is nowhere near a mountain house. This and rice is cheap. I would do this before I did a mountain house. They're too expensive. All right, I'll eat this and uh, we'll see how that goes. So it's definitely edible. If you don't want to, I mean, I always want to bring vegetables and do all of that, and I can, but if you are just on the trail or whatever, and you're going to bring a mountain house anyways, I don't know, I'll have to find out the price of this, but you could probably do at least two meals for every one mountain house price wise and then I don't know probably not even well, none of it's good for you but yeah so I'll let you know I'll get the price on that and it tastes alright I mean you know, would I like a gourmet meal sure but I didn't bring the stuff alright stay tuned 2.22 in the morning. I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you guys in the morning. I just wanted to show you the heater. It keeps it toasty warm in here. See you in the morning. Alright.
can't believe you guys are so big in two months. Oh, that's in there, it's just my finger. Definitely hand sanitizer after I'm done feeding you guys. Alright, day three. Wednesday. Just having some scrambled eggs and maple spam. Got some work to do today. Gotta figure out what's going on with this charging system. And work on the back windows. Super windy. We got pushed right into shore, just about. The wind is crazy. You see it moving us? The anchor's gonna rip out of the front of the boat. Alright. Well, I think we might move closer to the launch now think we can get into a cove uh, away from this wind. If not, we'll have to come back here. Oh, one thing after another. Not like the first trip, that's for sure. It's not terrible. Uh, battling the wind and I just lost my one of my anchors <laughs> I went round and round in circles trying to power it out because I couldn't get it by hand so I tied it to the boat and to the bow and then I went back and forth back and forth finally it snapped so that's a bummer but yeah it's a good trip all right, we're going to stay until tomorrow. Let's check the gas. Get these tied up, too. They're blowing crazy. All right. Let's say we got at least half a tank. Let's go find a quiet place. See if we can hurry up and switch out these windows. Door closeth. Yeah, see, this is beautiful, but you can get blown all over the frickin' place. Wow, there's even firewood up there. What a cool place. <laughs> nice. in there and tear everything up with these trees on the way out. It would be cool, but I don't want to end up in that shit right there. <laughs> you can see what's happening right now. We're getting blown around.
this good actually. I think we can kick the back end out. Drop that other anchor. feet from the boat launch but this will work We're out of the weather tied to a tree and here comes the rain I could go tie up right to the launch, but it's all right. This is, this is good. This is good. Somebody's little party place. I guess it could be a campsite for somebody real close to the boat launch though. After losing an anchor, I found the spot trying to stay out of the storm. So I tied to a tree and threw the other anchor and now the other anchor is stuck. <laughs> but this is my first time in a rainstorm. I don't want to mess with that anchor now. Break another anchor off and try to not have to try and pull a boat out in the dark. So just leave it until morning. Get the storm windows in. Shoot over the boat launch. Hopefully it's not raining in the morning. Uh, should have brought the food in. Food container. Alright, well, I guess I'll watch a little bit of Clayton Chick outdoors, watch him catch some walleye, watch the rain come down, make some dinner. setup. I've had this thing forever. Oh, here comes the rain. More rain. More rain. Should bring in the food container. You guys see me pretty good. It's actually dark in here.
Yeah, I'll just chill out for a little bit. Alright, this is Thursday morning. And we're out of the water. Getting ready to go to the campground for the night. In the parking lot. I'm going to screen over this window real quick. I don't know if I'm going to get to the other one. This one's the bad one. If I screen over it, it should keep it from blowing out. Alright, I made it to the campground. So the pizzeria is open. Let's we'll go over there, check it out a little bit. Here's the site. Stacking them in here on the waterfront. There are sites in the back that are pretty secluded. Very cool campground. campground is very nice and there's a store pizzeria out the window behind me and uh, the view of the dam or the pond this is a uh, Hoden pile dam pond very awesome view out the back So this place is cool. I think I'm going to go up to the store. See what they got up there. It's pizza time, folks, at the campsite on the lake. Just walked over to the store, pizzeria, slash bathrooms, showers, laundry room. Northern Exposure, Mesick, Michigan. Splurging. For one night. I feel like I'm still floating on the water, but I'm on land in between a lot of big RVs. Eating pizza. Woohoo! Get a fire going here in a little bit. Let the wind die down a little more. Well, my first night. Barrel boat in the rainstorm. I'm in the campground. Should be fun. Hopefully no leaks. Now we're heading out. Beautiful campground. I like this one 
better than the state one, Gun Lake. A lot of waterfront sites. It's crowded this weekend, coming up because of uh, holiday, Halloween uh, celebrating weekend. stay on one of these before the water site again just too crowded I mean 10 feet on either side of you 